My major is molecular biology and the reason why I chose it was it kind of was the best of both worlds where it touched both um, kind of the DNA and cells and got really deep into like understanding uh, where our hair color comes from and kind of that part, but then it also touches into like the chemistry part. You should go to college because it's a way for you to figure out who you are. Trust me, growing up, I was always having my parents tell me like, you should do this, you should be that. You should uh, consider being a doctor or a lawyer. And it really helped me during my first year here trying to figure out who I am and what really drives me. In life, you always see different things coming about. So you'll see the environment changing, like such as climate change, but that can also be applied to you as well, like within yourself. Why does someone at a young age end up being sick and you're not sick? And you can tackle that by going into molecular biology, by understanding where in your body that happens for someone to get sick and for someone not to. Building relationships with your professor because these people have knowledge and have experienced so many things and you get to learn from their experiences. You have someone to ask questions about. Um, you have someone you can challenge ideas. One advice I would suggest is go visit the campus. It just makes a huge, huge difference when you go and you kind of be like, okay, I can see myself here. Choosing your major, I think it's a thing that you have to go on through life, kind of go through your college career and see where your passion lies. If you really love it and you can't see yourself doing anything else, if you see yourself challenging questions, thinking about it overall, just find something that you don't stop thinking about. Everyone studies in a very different pattern. For me, the way that I like to do it is, I am the type of person who just has to really rewrite everything. So I'll read, I'll write my notes in class, and then I'll go home, read the book, and then I'll write notes from the book. And so I'll have like three sets of notes of the same thing, but that's because it really helps me as I write things and I start rewriting it in my own words. I'm able to articulate what my professor said and the book said into the way that I understand it. Be that person that you wanted to be right now. So looking back, you're like, okay, I'm that person that my 10-year-old self wanted to be. Always love yourself.